Okay, in this video we're going to look at rates. So we'll start with miles per hour, example one, then example two is liters per hour, example three, miles per gallon, example four, cents per liter, example five, um, uh, price for a, a chill, and example six, miles per gallon, uh, given the odometer reading. So let's start with uh, example one. The train travels 420 miles in 6 hours. What is the rate of the train in miles per hour? Now, the what we need to um, understand is that uh, sometimes per, the word per, means divide. Okay? Or we want to get miles per hour. Miles per hour means miles divided by hour, okay? So, how many miles have we got? 420 miles divided by 6 hours, see that? So, so anyway, you may, you may have already known that. So, um, then we just um, put the um, fraction in lowest terms. Um, they're both even numbers, so 2 will work. But you might know that 6 goes into 42. Did you know that? So 6 into 6 goes once. 6 into 42. 7 times. And 6 into 0. 0 times. So we get 70 miles divided by 1 hours. Or hour, right? And this can then be translated as... 70 miles and this divide equals per. Per means divide. Uh, per equals divide but also divide equals per. Right? The word per. So we can say 70 miles per one hour or 70 miles per hour. And this is also often written 70 mph. Right? Miles per hour. Okay, this guy. Example two, liters per hour. The gas tank on a car holds 80 liters of gas. At the beginning of a 12 hour trip, the tank is full. At the end of the trip, it contains only 16 liters. What is the rate at which the car uses gas in liters per hour? Okay, so we've got to um, have liters divided by hours because it says liters per hour. How many liters? 80? 16? Ooh, what's going on? What do we have to do? You start with 80 liters, you're left with 16, so you got to figure out how many was used up. How do we do that? AD subtract 16, right? So we got to carry, that becomes a 7, and this is a 10, so 10 minus 6 is 4, 7 minus 1 is 6, right? So we used up 64 liters. Okay, and it's per hour, so how many hours? For every 12 hours, right? 12 hours. Okay, so we, um, kind of put this in lowest terms and you know we're gonna actually get it as a a uh, decimal I guess so well they're both even numbers so how about uh, 2 into 12 goes 6 times 2 into 6 goes 3 times 2 into 4 goes twice so this gives me 32 liters over 6 hours I'm just gonna write that 32 over 6 remember what the word should be right and they're both even numbers again so 2 into that goes 3 times 2 into that goes once and one over 2 to 12 goes 6 times. So I've got 16 over 3. So that's 16 uh, liters for every 3 hours. I'm going to do a uh, long division because I need to get that as a. Oh, you know what? You know, how about a mixed number? That'll be better, right? Let's get that as a mixed number. 3 into 16 goes how many times? 5 times. Remainder 1. So 5 and 1 third. And of course we're talking about liters per hour, right? So it's 60 liters for every three hours, or in other words, five and one-third liters for every one hour. Uh, so it's five 
and one third liters per hour, as you were asked to do, liters per hour, right? Okay, let's have a look at example three. Example three, on a 550 mile trip, a car uses 15 gallons. Give this as a rate in miles per gallon. Press pause and see if you can do it. Press pause and see if you can do it. So I'm gonna try it now. I hope you're giving it a go. Okay, I'm gonna try it now in three seconds. Three, two, one, okay. We got 550 miles, MI, over 15 gallons, G-A-L. And I've gotta put that guy in lowest terms. This number ends in a 5, this number ends in a 0. I suspect that they're both multiples of 5. Well, they are, I know that, because one ends in a 5, one ends in a 0. Okay, so 5 into 15 goes 3 times. 5 into 5 goes once. 5 into 5 goes once. 5 into 0 goes 0 times. So I've got 110 over 3. Won't bother with the words, I know it's miles per gallon. Miles per gallon, see that? Okay, but uh, I guess I'll give this as a mixed number again. So 3 into 11 goes how many times? And you could do long division if you like, I suppose. 3 into 11, 3 times. Remainder, 2, right? 3 into 20 goes uh, 6 times. Remainder, 2. So we get 36 and 2 thirds, right? And it's miles per gallon. Miles per gallon. Or, uh, it's also written 36 and 2 thirds MPG, isn't it? Anyway, that's the answer. Example 4. If a 3 litre bottle of juice can costs two dollars twenty five cents give the unit price in cents per liter so what should we put over what should we put the um, should we put the 225 I guess that's in dollars over the um, over the liters three liters right because it's cents per liter or cents divided by liters. Yeah, I guess we should turn that into cents. That's 225 cents over. Well, we have over three liters, right? Because we want it in cents per liter, not dollars per liter, right? So in any case, then we'll. Uh, I guess we could just do long division and, and then see what we end up with with that, right? So three into two two five. 3 into 22, 7 times, remainder, remainder 1, right? F 3 into 15, 5 times, so I'm getting 75 cents for every 1 liter, right? Which is the same thing as 75 cents per liter. Example 5, find the unit price in cents per pill for each of the vitamin pill brands below. Which is the better buy? So there's a brand called a natural substitute, 100 pills for $6.99. A brand called artificial health, 325 pills for $23.40. I just have a little joke here because I kind of believe we should be getting our vitamins from uh, fresh fruit and vegetables, not from pills that are artificially made. Anyway, my little joke. Maybe I'm wrong. Just my opinion. Okay, so let's have a look at the... My wife's beside me. She's trying not to laugh. So let's look at the unnatural substitute one. 100 pills for $6.99. What do we have to figure out here? Do we have to get the cost per pill, maybe? If you, you might want to figure out the cost per pill 
or the unit the unit price oh well it tells us right there isn't it one blind unit price in cents per pill obviously right so we'll get the cents six dollars ninety nine that's six ninety nine cents per hundred pills right and um, let's just go ahead and divide that directly and, and get as a decimal what, what does that give us if I divide by a hundred the decimal point on this number is right here if I divide by a hundred where's that decimal point going to go well the number is going to get smaller right so should it go to the left or the right to the left do you think how far to the left isn't it going to go two spaces over right so you would get 6.99 cents per pill which is approximately seven cents per pill as if you round it up that's approximately seven cents per pill right okay so let's have a look at artificial health they sell their vitamin pills for 325 pills for $23.40 so can you calculate what price per pill that is okay so you're gonna go 2340 over 325 right that's the cents over the pills cents per 325 pills right and then we should probably put this guy into those terms one of the numbers ends in a zero the other ends in a five so we've got to you think they're both multiple multiples of five right so five and a thirty goes six times remainder two <laughs> 5 into 25 goes 5 times, right? And then let's have a look at the top. We got 5 into 23, 4 times, remainder 3. 5 into 34, 6 times, remainder 4. 5 into 40, 8 times. So, I'm getting. Uh, 468 over 65 right let's see oh my goodness well 2 won't go into the 2 won't go in well go into the top because even 2 won't go into the bottom because it's odd will 3 go into each one I'm afraid it might you see oh no 3 doesn't go into the bottom does it 4 5 won't go into the top and bottom 4 won't go in because this is an odd number. 5 won't go in because this ends in 8. 6 won't go into this. 6 and that goes 1. 6 and that won't go. 7 doesn't go into 65. 8 doesn't go into 65. 9 doesn't go into 65. 10 doesn't. 11 doesn't. 12 doesn't. So let's just... Uh, we've broken this down as far as we can. The problem is we've got to figure out which is the better buy. So we actually have to do long division to figure out what's the uh, unit price in cents per pill, right? So we have to do long division on this guy anyway. So, um, well, I guess I'll just do it over here. 65 into 468. What does that give us? We can stick on a, a point zero here too. Okay, so um, 65 into 46 won't go. 65 into 468. Hmm. Let's think in terms of 65 is almost seven, right? Well, well, it's it could be think of it as seven or six, but but seven times seven is 49, right? And it's, it's less than seven, so I'm just gonna guess seven times and see what happens. If I, if this doesn't work, I'll just try something else. Seven times five is 35. Carry to three. 7 times 6 is 42 and 3 is 45 then I subtract 8 minus 5 is 3, 6 minus 5 is 1 take the 0 down 65 into 130 what do you think? twice right? and the decimal point goes here doesn't it? decimal point goes above the one in the question right? 
So 2 times 5 is uh, 10, carry the 1. 2 times 6 is 12 and 1, 13. Subtract, and I get remainder 0. So this equals exactly 7.2 cents per pill, right? So this one was exactly 6.99 cents per pill, or or approximately 7 cents per pill, basically, and this is 7.2. So which is more expensive? The artificial health uh, guys are more expensive than the unnatural substitute, right? Okay, so which is the better buy? The better buy is unnatural substitute. Okay, this example will look at miles per gallon where you've got odometer readings. So uh, a truck's odometer reads 35,309.4 miles at the beginning of a trip and then 35,487.7 miles at the end of the trip. If the trip takes 15.8 gallons of gas, what is the gas mileage in miles per gallon? Right? Then we've got around the nearest tenth. So what do we have to do? first of all. Eventually we'll have to take the miles and divide it by the gallons, right? But we don't know the miles yet, right? How do we calculate number of miles driven? That we take this number and then subtract this number, right? So when you take, you take what's on it at the end of the trip and subtract what was on it at the beginning. Right? So, 7 minus 4 is 3. Put down a decimal point underneath it. 7 minus 9 won't work, so we've got to borrow 1, so that becomes a 7. Borrow 1 over here. 17 minus 9 is 8. 7 minus 0 is 7. 4 minus 3 is 1. 5 minus 5 is 0, and that's 0 as well. So we get 178.3 miles, right? 178.3 miles over how many gallons? Miles per gallon. Miles divided by the gallons. 15.8 gallons. Right? So for calculating this, to be honest, um, I would like to get the decimals out of that. So what would I multiply this by to come up with an equivalent fraction that has no decimals? If you multiply the bottom by 10, the decimal place will move over to the right and you'll get 158 on the bottom. If you multiply the top by 10, the decimal place goes to the right and you get 1783. Now, when we do the long division, like you might remember when we're going 15.8 into 178.3, we usually move the decimal point to the right anyway. And we get 158 into 1783, okay? Which is exactly what we did. We actually, to move it to the right, both of these guys to the right, you're multiplying by 10 over 10 and coming up with an equivalent fraction. Just to remind you of that. Anyway, so we've got to do the long division like this. And I'll stick on a point zero zero just in case we need it. So 158 into 178 goes how many times? One time, right? And one times that is 158. Subtract. 8 minus 8 is 0. 7 minus 5, 2. Bring the 3 down. 158 into that guy. I'm going to try it once. 158. Subtract. So let's see. Um, that's going to become a 1. Carry over here. And then that 10 becomes a 9. Carry over here. 13 minus 8 is 5, 9 minus 5 is 4, and bring a 0 down, and 158 into that. You might think 3 times, but 3 would be too much, it's actually twice. 2 times 8 is 16, carry the 1, 2 times 5 is 10, and 1 is 11, carry the 1, 2 times 1 is 2, and 1 is 3, and then subtract. And we've got a borrow from that guy, it becomes a 4, and 1 over here, so 10 minus 6 is 4, 4 minus 1 is 3, 4 minus 3 is 1, 
and then we've got a point here, right? Now we're asked to round to the nearest tenth. I have it to tenths, but I don't have the thousandths place, and I need the thousandths place so that I know what to round to, because this could be a big number, and a, or a, a number more than five, 5 or more, and have to round up to 11.3. If it's 4 or less, it's going to be 11.2, right? So I don't know if this needs to be 11.2 or 11.3 until I get the thou or the not the but the hundredths uh, digit until I get the next digit I don't know whether this needs to be 11.2 or 11.3 so we'll keep going is what I'm saying take the zero down 158 into this goes how many times oh it looks the, like about let's try eight 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 sixty four carry the 6. 5 8 is 40 and 6 is 46. Car then 6 carry the 4. 8 times 1 is 8 and 4 is 12. Oh, that just about worked, I guess. And now we have uh, that becomes a 3. 1 over here. 10 minus 4 is 6. Um, this has to become a 2. And that becomes 13. 13 minus 6 is 7. But we didn't even need to do that because we've got 8 here now and we're asked to round to the nearest tenth. Round to the nearest tenth and the tenth spot is here. So I'm going to round up or down. That is approximately 11 point. I've got to round up, right? Point 3. And it's miles per gallon. MPG or miles per gallon, right?